I'd like to look for my real father, so would you please hire someone to start searching for him? What? You wanted to look for your father, the one you're related to by blood? I wouldn't really recommend you doing something like that. Why are you wanting to look for him? Why does it matter to you? I have the right to find him. So stop it with whatever opinion you have about this. Are you starting to get all worried about having your cute little daughter taken away from you by him? That's pretty disgusting to think about, actually, so would you leave me alone? Wait. That's not what I'm worried about. What do you plan to do if you find him? Would you please stop trying to pick away at my plans? You're not allowed to know anything about what I have planned for my real father, so just leave all of that information be. I'll have you know, by the way, that I do not view you as my father. I never have, and the best I can think of you as is my mother's side hunk. <laughs> side hunk? You know, like a side chick. Oh. Is that right? Alright then, I understand what you're saying. I'd only been trying to my best all these years to raise you like I was your father. But you're not even going to show appreciation for any of that, are you? I would never appreciate some unrelated stranger coming into my life and trying to act as though they've always been my real father. So stop trying to, alright? Unrelated stranger? I understand that I'm not your real father, but I've been putting in so much work to make sure this family has everything it's needed. And I made sure to get you a job working for that construction firm. Yet you're still going to call me a stranger? Are you trying to get me to feel bad for you or something now? I never even asked to become a construction worker, alright? What made you think that a young woman like me would ever want to work in construction? Are you brain dead or something? How about you put in some effort finding me a better job working at a cosmetic store or something cute? But... That was the only thing I could do for you. You never really took any of your part-time jobs seriously, and you just messed around in school instead of focusing on your grades. It was you who chose not to take their future seriously, so when it came time for you to actually need a job, the only thing I could help you find was that job. Had I not stuck my neck out for you and found you that job, you would probably still be working random odd jobs like you were before I helped. Wow. I hate all you old men. Always preaching about how amazing you are and why everyone should be just like you. Is that why you stuck me into this construction firm? Come on now. That's worse than just being rude. How about you find yourself a better job, you idiot? Don't start making any of this about me, May. But who else should I be blaming for all this? Aw, if only Mom was still around to help me get out of this mess and into a proper life. I wish it was you who would have died in that accident instead of her, honestly. Why did she have to be the one to die, then? Now you are taking things a few steps too far, May. I am trying my best to stay open-minded to everything you're talking about here. But when you start bringing stuff like that up, you're really making it difficult for me. You need to start thinking about how what you say will affect how others will feel. If you don't, then you are going to lose all of those that love you, and you'll be on your own in the future and will get no help. What are you talking about? What help will I need? I'm going to be getting married to a very wonderful office working man, and he's going to love me and help me no matter what. Once I've become a part of his family, I won't have to think about what I can and can't say ever again. <laughs> I'm sure you might think that's the case, but I'm telling you right now, it isn't. Ugh. This is getting to become so tiring. I don't have the energy to listen to you go on and on like that all day. Well, I'm sure you don't. Anyway, you have a buddy who's working as an investigator, right? For the police? I honestly never understood why your friend would be working a job like that at his age, but I guess he's finally going to become of some use to me. 
I want you to go get him to find my real father for me. Listen, May. I can ask him to help you out, but do you really think he's going to want to help you when you talk about him like that? He is my friend, but he is not me. Which means he might not be as willing to deal with you when you talk like that. Make sure when you meet him that you're on your best behavior and don't say anything rude. Alright? Did I not just say that you're not my father? I'm tired of you thinking you're so important to me when all you're good for is listening to me and doing as I say, you old fart. Understood. Carter, I have something I'd like to talk with you about. So you have some time? Hello, Henry. What's going on? It's been a little while since you've contacted me. <laughs> well, this has to do with your skills as an investigator. My daughter, May, she's asked me to get in touch with you and ask for your help. Hey, no, hey, no. What was that? I thought that you and her weren't at all that close to one another. And that she'd never ask you for anything. <laughs> so she has really asked you to get me to help her. <laughs> well, it's not really that she asked me to do this. Rather, she's demanded that I get you to help her. She knew about how you are an investigator for the police, so she thinks she can use your help and doesn't even have to ask for it herself. I kind of figured that would be the case between you two. So, what's this that she's wanting me to take a look into? May wants for you to start looking for a real father. The one she's related to by blood. At least that's what she's told me to ask you to do. What? For that girl's real father, the one she's related to by blood... He's, um... Yeah, I know about all of that. But I'm not sure how things have gone with him, so I can't really make a good educated guess as to where he's at in life. My wife is long gone now, so there's been no way for me to tell. I... I'm sure that's the case. But is this really something you would want to have me do? Wouldn't me going out and finding that guy for her be a bit tough on you? Not really. By this point, I don't really care what happens if you find him. She is old enough now where she can decide what she wants to have happen with her life, so I'll let her experience the weight of her decisions firsthand. And the other thing is... You know that I have put a lot of effort into raising her and everything, right? Well, she told me the other day that she wishes her mother had never died in that accident. And that it was instead me who died. Wait, wait, wait. She said that to you? The whole reason that crush happened in the first place. And I have been hiding that very reason from her this whole time. She was thrown away by her real father and all, so I wanted her to at least have some respect for her real mother. You are far too kind of a man, Henry. Even if you are like her father, the way she is acting, if she were my daughter, I'd make sure she heard all about the truth so that she could see how stupid she's acting. And isn't it because of you that she has that job? What is going on over there, Henry? I know. But she's even complaining about that job I've given her now. She told me that she never wanted to work for any construction firm. Now she's blaming me for being the one that put her in a situation where she had to take the job. Oh my god, Henry. <laughs> I think you need to discipline that daughter of yours a little more. It's because of you that she even has a job at all right now. <laughs> huh. 
She barely even went to class in high school and has nothing to show for herself at her age. She needs to start understanding that this world is not all about her, and that if she doesn't start taking responsibility for her actions, it's going to chew her up and spit her out. I'm thinking the exact same thing, but it's become too late for me to do anything else to help her. She's an adult now, even if her behavior tells us otherwise. She's planning on getting married soon. I think this is pretty much it for my role as her parent, and I'll let her go ahead and live the life she wants. So please just go start looking for that father of hers, would you? What? That girl is going to get married now? She actually found someone who would want her. Please pardon me for saying this, but how could such a selfish witch like her find a man to marry? <laughs> What kind of man did she end up finding? <laughs> I'm not sure. She won't ever let me go out and meet with him. She doesn't even see me as her father, so of course she's never going to let him meet me. And as her fiancé or whatever, okay with something like that? How am I supposed to know what he thinks? <laughs> But considering that she's still with him to this day, and they want to get married, means that she's been pulling some sort of really good lie. Well, I suppose that's true. Although if I were in his shoes, I'd want to meet her father more than anything before marriage. Ever since she got that job from me, she has been such a pain in my butt. She's the kind of person where she only really cares about someone as long as she can get what she wants from them. So if she's been able to keep me around this long while treating me like crap, then she must be just that good at lying. But none of it is going to bother me now. And that's why you're totally complacent with me going out and looking for a real father. This is pretty much the end of your relationship with her anyway. So, you might as well give her one last parting gift. I'm not sure what kind of man her real father is now, but that's not going to matter to you or I, now is it? That's exactly right. That's why I'm doing as she said, and asking you to find her that man. And when it comes to the cost of your services, make sure she's the one who has to pay for it. She doesn't pay you for them, then I'll make sure the money comes out of her paycheck. Understood. <laughs> Looks like you really want her to grow up now. <laughs> She's an adult now, and needs to understand that she is going to be held responsible for everything she asks for and does, whether she likes it or not. I just got a message from the investigator. He has finally found out where my real father is. <laughs> Thank God. Is that right? Congratulations. I was really wondering what would happen if I was never able to find him. That friend of yours who was doing all of that investigating is really slow at his job, right? No wonder the police in this town never get anywhere. <laughs> hey, don't speak about his work that way. Please don't tell me you spoke to him with that tone before. What's wrong with me talking about him taking too long to get his work done? I'm just being honest that he might be too old for his profession now. But you say things like that in the rudest way possible. You are not being rude to him about it, right? He may be one of my friends, but he's also a complete stranger to you and should not be spoken to in such a childish manner. I'm the one paying him, so I can say whatever I want. And now that I've given you the news, this is pretty much it for you. I no longer need you anymore. I made sure not to invite you to my wedding tomorrow, so make sure you're not showing up. What? You really think I'd want some fake father like you who works in construction at my wedding? I've made sure to invite my real father to this wedding tomorrow, so you're not allowed to come into here. 
But what about yourself? Isn't your fiancé and his family already aware that I work in construction as well as you? And have been your dad for years now? Of course I haven't said anything to them about all that. And they are never going to find out about us working in construction either. You really think I'd ever want to tell them about how you work such a low-life job? No way. I made sure to tell them all that my father has been working overseas as an elite this whole time. Couldn't you have at least gone with a bit more of a believable lie? But mom said it herself, didn't she? She said that my real father has been overseas all this time working as an elite. And the only reason she had to divorce him is because they couldn't live together anymore. So none of this is a lie. That's why I am so looking forward to all of tomorrow. I'll be able to marry my amazing fiancé, and I'll be able to meet with my elite father once again. Uh, now that you mention your mother, she did say something like that. But I thought I made sure to make things right after that. Your mother was just saying that to make you feel good about your real father. Really, it was all a lie. Alright, yeah, and you really expected me to believe your poor excuse for a lie? It sucks so much for me to have a man like you marry my mom after my real father left and then sit around lying all the time. And that's why I've never thought about you as a father figure to me. So you're really not bothering to listen to a thing I say? Anyway, now that I've told you all I needed to say, I'm going to cut ties to you. Don't you ever talk to me again after this, alright? See. Have a good life then without me. I just hope that things go exactly the way you're hoping. Stop trying to talk to me like you're my father. Goodbye forever, May. Come to my wedding right now, Dad. Things are not going well for me at this wedding whatsoever. Dad? I'm sorry, but you must have the wrong number. I don't believe that I'm your father. You're my dad, though. Aren't you supposed to be my father? No, I don't believe I am. I thought that your father was invited to your wedding today. That all I am to you is a complete stranger, right? You were telling me yesterday that you invited your real father after all. And he's... he's completely insane! Who the hell is this homeless man? He came in here completely wasted off his butt and smells like the bathroom at a frat party. And then when he saw me, he came to hug me and his smile turned into a frown and he began to vomit all over the place. This is the worst thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> is that so? Well, I don't care. That's your real father, the one tied to you by blood. So be happy with what you've asked for and leave me out of it. Congrats on being able to meet with him again. <laughs> now, you have a good rest of your wedding. Hold on a sec. I have no idea what's going on right now. There's no way a man like that could ever be related to me by blood or be my father. But that's the man my friend had found for you, right? He would have gone through all the testing to make sure he was truly your father before letting you know. There should have even been DNA tests done on him. So please don't feel as though my friend made any mistakes. He did exactly as you asked and found you your real father. There's no way. How how could that guy be my real father, though? What is going on right now? There is no way in hell my father should be anything like that man. I was told that he's been working overseas this whole time and is an elite company man. And, as I was saying to you before, all of that was a lie made up by your mother to try and make you feel happy about your real father. What? Don't you- What? I told you plenty of times now, May. 
that your mom has been lying to you about him and that he's not as good of a man as she wanted you to think. But you never listened to me once, so shame on you, I suppose. Well, now that your real blood-related father is standing in that room with you covered in vomit, are you going to believe me? No way. So you're telling me that this was all true? That mom had been married to a homeless man? I'm not sure what all happened before she married him. But when she was married to him and had made you... He was like a parasite to her that did nothing at all. He just crashed in the house all the time with your mother and would drink all day before going out to work part-time at night. However, it's really not sure what kind of part-time job that was since he never paid for the house or the bills. And you're saying that parasite of a lousy man is my real father? Why would my mom ever want to marry a man like that? From what else I've been told, she only married him after he had gotten her pregnant. She was under the impression that if she had gotten pregnant, the only thing left she could do, she had to do, was marry the man. But after only a few months, she couldn't handle being married to him anymore. And that's what led to her divorcing him not too long after. You're lying, right? You'd think I'd be lying to you now? <laughs> I'm going to tell you the whole truth now. <laughs> the reason why your mom came and married me not too long after that was because your real father wasn't going to be able to pay child support for you. So she needed someone with a decent income to carry a lot of the weight. That's why she started to date and then marry me. Then this whole thing about my real father being overseas working as an elite company man, that's really all a lie? Yep. That was really all a lie. Your mother was really good at lying to people in order to make herself look good. So she lied to people like her friends and family, even her own parents, in order to not be badly judged for having you and getting a divorce. And by that point, she couldn't stop herself from lying at him and got you all caught up in it as well. You are just like your mother, lying about things to everyone while going into a marriage thinking it will all be okay. Then why the hell did you even decide to marry a woman like her? Because she had lied to me as well. But... Over time, I could see through her lies because of all the suspicious things she'd been up to. And at the time, I was pretty good at figuring out when someone was covering something up or not. So when I found out she had another boyfriend while married to me, I really dug in deep to see what else she was lying about. What? Mom had another boyfriend? This is where I'm going to start to really open up this can of worms for you. You're an adult now, after all, so you should be able to handle all of the truth. When your mother had gotten into that car crash, she was in the car with her boyfriend. Huh? There's no way. Right? It looks like they got into that crash while going out on a date. I'm not sure if you remember anything about that day, but she was supposed to be going out to get you from school. But then she told me out of the blue that she had other plans come up and made me go get you. I remember that. I was expecting mom to show up for me that day, but then you came to pick me up. I was furious that you came to get me and started to scream and yell at you. And then after getting back home, mom never came back. She received a text from her boyfriend asking to go out, and that must have made her change plans last second, thus. She was so into that man that she was even willing to forget about her own daughter for him. She would even do this to me before the crash, always going out to see him after work, forcing me to come home and take care of you all the time. And well, looks like that last date of hers was her death sentence. No, 
In other words, had she just come to pick me up that day instead of going out with her boyfriend, she could have lived? Well, that seems to be the case. So, this means that your whole fantasy of me going out and dying instead of your mother would have never happened, because I was never cheating on her with another woman or man. You can't say that. Why... Why have you kept all of that hidden from me for so long? I didn't think something like that should have been told to you as you were growing up. Hearing about how your own mom was having an affair, ended up losing her own life because of it, would have been good for you. So in order to keep you happy and healthy, I kept the truth a secret from you. Knowing that one day I'd be able to tell you, once you had become an adult, I understand that I'm not related to you by blood, but you are still like a daughter to me. So that's what you thought? But shouldn't you have... Shouldn't you have hated her for all of that cheating and, and viewed me as nothing more than a child of that nasty woman? Well, I'm sure most men would have viewed you and your mother that way. The end of our marriage and her life was not pretty for me. The man that she cheated on me with died in that accident as well. For a while, I was depressed thinking about how to end my suffering from that day. Yet through all of that, you kept me around and took care of me? To me, you were still like my daughter. I wasn't going to leave you all alone after my wife, your mother, had died. And over the years, you started to skip school all the time, and would never keep a stable job any. I had to start thinking about your future for you. And that's when I ended up sticking my neck out and getting you that job as a construction worker. That was the best that I could do for you, considering you ended all your other options. Why did you never tell me about what happened with you and Mom, though? Had you told me about how hard things had been for you after she died, I would have... You would have what? I'm sure nothing would have changed had I told you the truth, right? You should have already seen how much effort I was putting in for you. Working 10-hour shifts, 6 days a week, for years in order to help keep you happy, to the point I sometimes had to spend the money I had saved up for myself on you. I know I should have understood things after seeing all that. Uh, I get it now. I'm going to apologize to you for everything I've done. But right now, I need you here at this wedding. I need you to tell my fiancé and his family that you're my real father. No can do. I am not your real father. I'm not even a father-like figure to you. We both cut ties to one another. So all I am is a stranger to you now. That can't be. You were the one who raised me this whole time, so please come here as my father. Were you the one who called me your fake father? Who works a low life's job? Also, I'm tired of being used as both your ATM and your punching bag when it comes to how you want to live your life. Can't you see that today turned out the way it did so you got what you continued to ask for? I suggest that you go ahead and take responsibility for the results you've gotten, as nobody else will. I'm telling you that I understand I've messed up. If things don't get any better, my fiancé said he's going to leave me and never come back. Well, let's hope you can figure something out quickly to stop that from happening. Although, I'd highly anticipate him leaving you, as there is nothing he would want more than getting away from a liar like yourself. Don't you freaking say things like that! Help me! The only person I have left to help me is my dad! Well then, go and ask him for help! I'm not talking about this homeless man, I'm talking about you! You can't be, because you've said it yourself that you've never even thought of me as your father all of this time. Stop trying to change the story on me when I seem to have a better memory than you. I'm sorry. 
one other thing regarding the construction job you hate oh so much. You're being fired from it. There is no other option for us here, considering I had done everything I could to get you the job. Yet you went about and complained the whole time while talking trash about everyone you work. So you can now consider yourself unemployed. <laughs> there is no one else out there to help you now. Go cry in hell about it. After all of that, the wedding ended up being cancelled, and May's fiancé told her that things were off for good. He told her there was no way he'd make a wife out of someone who was related to drunks, and that if she wanted to marry him so badly, she should have just told the truth from the beginning. With everything falling onto her shoulders now, she was left with the bill for the whole wedding and also the bills for all the things that her real father had ruined while stumbling around vomiting everywhere. Unfortunately, she had already used up all of her money paying for the investigator she had been asking for, but was not going to be making any more money for a bit because she had lost her job working for the construction firm. In a panic, she began running all over town looking for a new job, although I'm not sure there's much left that this town has to offer her. I'd like to say that this ending was the fruits of her labor, that she deserves to eat every single one of them. <laughs>